Hello and welcome to another episode of Forts and today we've got a different kind of idea similar to a video we did recently with Super Sniper Tier 3s but this time we're going to be trying out some pure destructive firepower of the 20mm. Now a lot of you guys that have been around for the channel know I, I, I kind of like to, uh, to bash the 20mm a lot. It's a... Uh, it's more of a harassment type weapon. It's despite being in the heavy weapon category and requiring the same resources and technology as a heavy weapon, it hits more like a harassment weapon. It's actually designed to strip exposed weapons and and other devices off of an opponent's fort. So it's not a it's not not a great investment. And that's, it's not because it doesn't do a lot of damage, it just scatters the damage everywhere. So it doesn't have that penetrative and pure destructive power that you'd want out of a game ending style of heavy weapon. But it costs the same amount. So in order to uh, make it a bit more destructive and f bring out its full potential, we're playing as the Scattershot Commander. And you know what that means, once we hit this active ability, we're going to start dealing a lot more damage to the same spot. Because remember, the Scattershot active ability makes your uh, all your projectiles much more accurate. So they won't, won't go spreading everywhere. Instead, they'll, they should all be landing in roughly the same spot. And if we have a couple 20s all using their massive damage that's normally spread to AoE, but instead focused into a single target, oh boy, we're going to start hitting real hard. And that's our goal today. So all we have to do is get up to the heavy weapons technology and put the munitions plant down. Now, I'm not going for one of my greedy, greedier rushes. I, I'm in a 2v2. I, I don't want to trust my teammate to tank for me. I don't recognize him. So I'm trying to make sure that I have everything all nice and stable without sacrificing too much of the build speed. So I'm going to be a little bit behind in terms of theoretically fast technology placement and weapons output, but I'll have a nice strong economy and be able to tank anything they throw at me. I'm not seeing any early game aggression out of them just yet, so I'm not worried too much about armoring up everything immediately, but I am going to keep teching up and designing and preparing a base that can take any kind of damage they throw at me. That's the idea here. So I'm going to do a tiny brace to start with, and bring that up. Uh, um, you know what? Let me do it differently. I've been going back and forth just to see which design I prefer here better, but I think I prefer doing this because it makes it easier for me to just drag up here and turn this into a sandbag defense for the turbines. But, yeah. There we go. Make the sandbags there. Like so. Double brace this. We already have our rope in the back. I need one more battery. One more of these. You need two batteries and two metal storages in order to be able to afford any of the heavy weapons in the game. So as long as I have those, I'm happy. We put our sandbags down now. And we see some background bracing up here. That's probably for their turbines because that's a prime turbine location. But no promises. Looks like my ally has indeed begun the assaults with his mortars. So we'll probably get some damage in from there, but I need to start building a location to put my 20 mils. So one and two, and then the tiny little bit on front. I actually don't need all this extra wheat back here, because my base is kind of skinny. There's going to be a lot of weight on it. Let's go ahead and put our cannons down now. Now these are exposed, so I'm going to cover them with wood just so that they can't get sniped or have flak come deal damage and finish them off before they can start, because they're going to be getting some anti-air. Now my opponents re realize now that my uh, sorry my teammate has just started firing incendiary mortars at um, roughly the time we're getting heavy weapons down. So if that's your timing for early game aggression, if you're if you're doing early game aggression weapons at the time people are getting heavy weapons, you really should not be doing early game aggression. Like that's it's not not gonna work out well for you. Like, these aren't even heavy mortars; those are incendiary mortars. So he can't really deal damage to the base anyways. Um, Sandiria mortar is great for destroying exposed things, not so great for destroying non-exposed things. But now we have a nice sturdy base. I need to change this to... You, know, you can see the bullets come over here hit this. Yeah, don't want, don't want them hitting our precious, precious guns. Okay, so I need to protect this. And then I'm going to need doors on these. 
Um, I'm actually gonna hold off on firing these until I have doors on them because I don't want to deal with the stress of having to do wooden doors. Like, I could do wooden doors. And if you guys are familiar with vanilla wooden doors, basically, I sell this off, fire the weapon, and then put the wood back. That's how you do wooden doors. In vanilla. Unlike in Tanya's mod where you have actual wooden doors, it's much easier to do. You just kind of click, and they're done. Okay, so now we have actual doors on these. So they won't get any kind of bullets going into them. Now we need to charge the commander ability in order to use it, so let's go ahead and do this. You see the spread on this, how it just kind of goes everywhere, doesn't hit anything. And... So 20 mils, uh, they're great fun. Let me go ahead and start building some, that way we can start off and have a good old time here. Let's do this. Just gonna do this real quick. <clears throat> forget all that happened. That is one of the drawbacks of 20 mils. Because they take so long to fire, the doors are open all the time. Meaning that they could take hits from anything and just have them slowly gunned down. Like seriously, if you you start getting hit by a 20 millimeter, just take your sniper and snipe the thing twice because it, it stays firing for so long that you can get two shots on it before the door closes. You can actually almost get three shots. With the sniper, with the slow re reload time, which means that you just blow away the, the 20 mil before it has an opportunity to do things, which is, well, kind of destructive. But hey, you know, it's that's the that's the 20 mil for you. So let me, sh I'm trying to decide what should be what I should build next. I think I just need to get some more armor around the core. Just so we can't get hit by the focus laser beam or something of the sort. I also want to armor this up a bit. Usually I'd put something like a sniper here, but I don't want to do things that are not specifically the 20 mil cannons. But clearly I should have a little bit more defenses here, especially around this point. Yeah, especially around this point. And those are still incendiary mortars. So if I were to just put metal there, I don't have to worry about the ignition cost, or really the damage, because they don't do much damage to, to metal. Yeah, I'll put metal there. Sell that wood so I don't have to keep repairing it. Put sandbag back. And our 20s are almost ready to fire. Though I think this time I'm actually going to wait until my opponent has used his flak. Hmm, yeah, okay, there we go. Looks like my 20s got damaged. It is possible that they had a ricochet in them, in and among them. Oh dear. I hope my teammate had a good use for that because I didn't activate that. Looks like he didn't. Okay, let's go ahead and cleave off all those flak he had there. Or just go all the way straight through his base. Look at that. We just went all the way through his base with perfectly accurate 20 build shot. Now that's... <laughs> That's how you use 20s. Okay, and our guns are up, so we have anti-air running now. We sh are good to go. No, no defenses for you. Actually, it's actually gonna be really difficult to try to break, to try to defend against this kind of thing. Uh, never mind, I lied. It's not gonna be that difficult because 20 mils can be bounced by an energy shield. Which makes it kind of easy to defend against it, but our command ability is ready again. Oh, look at that. He's got a nice, thick bunch of metal. Let's, uh, just rail all- just- just like a railgun, just all the way through. Yes! Break it all! <laughs> look at the damage it did! It's ridiculous! Alright, alright, alright. Let's put an upgrade center down so we don't float any resources and keep scaling upward. Get some more bracing here. Alright, turn this into metal. Uh, sell off this battery so we don't have any kind of destruction. 
Now, I did see someone in the comments mentioning about why don't I put sandbags here, because I don't want to put anything else there. There's just no real reason not to. Sandbags are heavy, so you gotta be careful putting them here, because they just add more weight, but there's just no real reason not to put something there. And that's why you're supposed to double door. Um, okay. Sitting here, just trying to have a nice time, blow away all my guns. We're gonna rebuild these again. Uh, this one was definitely my fault. Uh, really should have built the double door there. Really should have built the double door. It's fine, it's fine. We can rebuild, we have the technology. This time, let's actually do a nice defense here. Sandbag. Double this and this. Oh dear, I'm starting to get a little bit of... The sag in the middle really didn't do much, much good for us here. A couple gunners to help defend against the mortars. And that should do it. All right. Are they even aiming for something? Okay, we just have enough anti-air that it's, that it's working. So we gotta get these guns back up and fast. We definitely want both of them. So that'll do. I'm not too worried about this. It's just my base isn't actually in danger of collapsing. I could sell this off right now and it would successfully disperse the weight across the rest of the things. Uh, I could do that actually just to get it to stop from being red, but uh, it doesn't matter that much. Because the rest of my base is okay. It's just that particular strut because of the uh, the way the base sagged when the cannon came through. So it's it's fine despite being red. There's there's nothing to be worried about. I'm more worried about me losing these guns twice in a single round. Oh my god, that's a lot of mortars. Normally I'd try to actually stop him from having those mortars, but I don't, I don't want to do that. I want to let him think he has a chance while I get up these twenties. Because at the moment, now I've properly built a defense, so his cannon is not going to do anything. Uh, though, I should be concerned about him having that many mortars. Those mortars can absolutely do something. Like, kind of concerning, really. So I'm going to actually build a couple more gunners in the front, and then some metal bracing just to help out against that cannon. There we go. Oh, what good a nice sniper would be. If I were to just go like right up here and then just build a sniper on top of that, I could snipe out just about all of these mortars. Okay, so now he has claimed the power of his teammate's old base, filling it with mines and energy production. If only... But does he have the power to survive the 20 mils? I actually, I actually could get a third one. I don't really want to go higher. Don't really need to, I don't think. As long as I'm safe. No more cannon shots coming from nowhere. I, I'm convinced he's waiting for me to open my doors now. Just waiting. Let's get another one of these. Let's put this down. Nope, can't put that there. Let's put that there for strength reasons. Oh, yep. Yep, there it is. Okay. Alright. Oh. Oh, the teammate got him. <laughs> Alright, let's go ahead and try this one again. And we're off to round two. This time we have the bottom base and, well, I think I'm gonna go for a bit more of a, a greedier rush. As fun as it was defending. Um, I don't want to get shot. It's not... not really that high on my list of things to do. So let me go up here. Let me get the two and a half. You can put a cannon right on top of that. And like so. Put our flak tower down here. Or rather the flak tower. The structure that allows us to get flak. Is he seriously shooting at my turbines? Do it. I dare you. It's fine. I don't mind at all. It, it's the, the repair cost is really not worth not worth the time spent on it. He didn't even hit it. Okay. Yay, machine gunners. Uh, terribly accurate weapons. Would not recommend using them early game. Um, 
I, I usually sell mine off, as I'm sure you guys have noticed. Now we just need a place to put our munitions plant. And there it is. Yay! Alright, let's put this guy here. And then a battery. Now I'm putting the battery in middle story here because we will generate enough resources on one turbine and four mines that we will still be able to reach munitions plants without floating by the time this completes. So now we're just gonna sit here and wait and watch what my opponents do. They don't seem to be doing much. This guy's got all his mines, he's building some wood, built his background bracing. This guy built a lot of connections to the ground, which means um he's not gonna have a lot of money right now. You see how we're this is about just finishing up and we just passed eight hundred? Yeah. So now we have all of the storages that we need for the rest of the game, and the technology as well. Isn't that, isn't that nice how that works? Okay then, I gotta wait for that to complete. So now is the time when I start expanding out more. I'm going to build another turbine first, and then another mine. That way we keep relatively even on the distribution between metal and energy. And then, because I saw no exceptional aggression coming out of them, except for a possible missile rush out of the rear guy, but uh, the amount of money he spent on doing all of the foundation means it's not going to come out very quick if he is doing that, so it'd be less of a less of a rush, more of a slow, which is not terribly threatening. I'm going to go ahead and build this up, connect across here, build that like so, background raising this, this needs to go up, this needs to have these sandbags in front of it. Remember, we are scatter shots, so our energy shields protect against cannons as well, which is kind of nice. It's kind of really powerful, really good for um, full turtle style defenses. But I'm not, not a big fan of those kind of strategies. It's just personal preference, I suppose. I like shooting back a lot. I like to be the guy that other people have to work around instead of me working around them. So I spent a lot on defenses here. And that was purposeful, uh, despite it meaning that we won't have the, enough resources to build our cannons immediately. And I am fully aware that building a 20mm right above my core is a horrendous idea, especially when it's right next to a battery. So it's this... I'm fully aware that this could go very wrong very quickly for me. But it, it'll be fine. If I tell myself it'll be fine, it'll be fine. Because that's how it works. Right? Right. Alright, next up, building a 20mm here. Looks like the opponents... Have, this guy has gone for an upgrade center, so I don't expect any late game weapons out of him anytime soon. Uh, he's also gone for shotguns, so he can start chewing through my wood pretty fast, which means I need to get my slanted armor up and running pretty quickly here. Fortunately, we have the income to do that. Yeah, there goes a lot of the armor. I need to keep that armor intact. And make sure he's not getting suspicious of things. Alright. I already have that. I'm gonna build a sniper. The sniper's probably gonna get shot, but it'll give him something to shoot at. Something to keep him busy while I continue on with my own shenanigans. I kind of want to get wood here, but... Ah, uh, there's no way he has enough. Looks like my teammate has done good work with the flak, uh, successfully handling what I was going to do with the sniper when it was built. So I don't think there's really much for me to do with sniper anymore. Just let me hotkey him. I've got one of them. Alright, so he still has some shotguns. Uh, still has three of them, actually. But luckily, my guns are almost complete. Right, both of them are almost complete. And we have the power, so let's go. Commander ability active. Let's take out his bottom. There's one. And there's two. Oh jeez, it's like having an AoE ability that's just m and just straight modifying it to 
not be AoE anymore, and instead taking all the damage that would normally be spread out and just smacking a single target with it. It is so much damage. Oh my god. Why is this allowed? Welcome to the 20mm. Weapon long disgraced and left behind. Now oh, very powerful. Alright, keep this going. We still... Alright, so I need to fire it again unless my teammate's going to be able to charge our ability now. Looks like the, uh, the last remaining target is starting to armor himself up. I just need to fire these a little bit with their massive spread. Look at that. Two entire volleys of 20 mils, not even one layer of destroyed armor. That's how much spread they do. But as you guys have seen, they could deal a lot of just mess up a fort when they're actually, you know, focusing their fire in one place. Right, so let's go ahead and keep up our defenses, because the rear fort is definitely going for heavy weapons. So we want to make sure that we are nice and defended against all of that. Oh no, it missed. Is there anything I can snipe out over here? Oh, he's got a can- oh, that's a nicely defended cannon. Uh, unfortunately, it doesn't have a very good um, angle for him. I don't think that's going to be enough to charge. No, not enough. I don't want to fire our 20s again unless they're charged. Because that's just going to take forever to recharge them again. But it looks like the, the guy actually knows how to defend. He's got slanted armor in there and everything. Alright, alright, alright. That's pretty good. But this should charge up the shot. There it is. Alright, let's do this. One. And two. Right to the same spot. We just keep going all the way through and slice him entirely in half. That is the end of our opponent there. He had nice defenses too. Alright guys, if you want to see more combo shenanigans, make sure to hit that subscribe button and the little bell next to it because we got videos going up every day. But for now, have a good one everyone, and I'll see you guys later.